The average person who goes to school has no idea why humanity exists. He has no idea concerning a spiritual factor in material existence. He has no general comprehension of the rules of life as these differ from the rules of social and political structure. He does not know where he came from, he does not know why he is here, and he has no idea where he is going. And on this compound ignorance, we offer degrees and make brilliant scholars of the people who have never answered any of those questions. It is one of these amazing things that we have created a great hierarchy of well-lettered ignorance. We have made everything subservient, not to wisdom, but to the passing advantages of the hour. We're in exactly this position politically today. Welcome to Daily Ryu, the wildest ride on YouTube where we react to the most outrageous, mind-blowing viral videos and crazy news stories from around the world. Remember these videos are for entertainment purposes only. So buckle up, get your popcorn ready, hit that like button, subscribe, share and let's get weird. a criminal oligarch paid off the first son to try and influence U.S. policy while President Biden was serving as VP. Some new documents out there, and Chad Pergram seen them. He is live on Capitol Hill to take us through this story. What now in the chapter of Hunter Biden? Chad? Bill, good morning. It's possible this could be the closest anyone has come to showing a transfer of money from overseas in exchange for potential influence over U.S. policy with Hunter Biden. Now, we've heard about Hunter Biden's ties to the Ukrainian energy firm Burisma. House investigators have probed that for months. But how about potential links to Romania? Now, prosecutors in Hunter Biden's tax case say he worked for Gabriel Popovicu. He's a Romanian business magnate. Now, the allegation is that Hunter Biden and his business colleagues took three million dollars in payments. Papavicu faces a criminal investigation in Romania over a land deal. Special counsel David Weiss makes that very case in his filing in California. Weiss alleges they structured the deal for Hunter so it, quote, concealed the true nature of the work he was performing. Now, prosecutors say there were concerns about ramifications for President Biden. Papavicu is expected to testify at Hunter Biden's tax evasion trial in Los Angeles that starts September 5th. He's charged with failing to pay $1.4 million in taxes over a four-year period. The House's impeachment inquiry remains open. Republicans claim Hunter Biden sold his father as the brand and used the president for access. Bill? Okay, Chad. More to Kamala Harris! After much self-reflection, I have come to the realization that there is one thing very Indian about you, and that is that you became the Democratic nominee without a single vote. Bitch, you pulled the biggest scam of all time. No Indian I know 
from the call centers to email phishing no indian i know has scammed 250 million people not bad kamala this that's pretty good numbers if you manage to actually win the election you will have pulled off the biggest indian scam of all time from here on out your new name is not camel toe actually it is now scamala scamala harris don't A lot of people are saying they gained a lot of respect for Dr. Phil about this one. What do y'all think? And look at this map that I, I did a show about this. The red is where Chinese government has funded buying major farmland. Yeah. And then superimposed on that are some of our most strategic military bases. Yeah. And, and you can see there's, surrounding. there's Dugway Proving Ground. That's military equipment, biological, chemical weapons. They're surrounding it. Utah test training range, the largest supersonic authorized restricted airspace in the United States. Whiteman Air Force Base, B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber Base, missile drone operations, MQ-9 Reaper, Global Strike Command 3, Fort Liberty, uh, Airborne Special Operations Forces, rapid deployment. We've allowed them to come in and buy up agricultural land wind farms no wind no blades on some of the towers what bro what are you talking about man making the kind of content i do there's certain tools i use to navigate the information one of those tools is keeping up with certain people whose names just keep popping up and we're going to talk about one of those names that i've been following for years that's involved in so many things it'll make your head spin so let's get into it for entertainment purposes, of course, because I know absolutely nothing and I'm just making this stuff up. Now, the person we're going to talk about, I can almost guarantee you that the majority of people haven't heard his name in years. And that's the actor and film director, Sean Penn. Now, before I even get started, there's so many rabbit holes involved with this man that I can't possibly cover them all. So I'm going to skim across the surface to get my point across. But if there's anything that you want me to make a video about, just sound out in the comments. All right, now Sean Penn, as an actor, is mainly known for his role in the Fast Times of Ridgemont High. Causing a major disturbance on my time. I've been thinking about this, Mr. Han. If I'm here and you're here, doesn't that make it our time? We certainly did nothing wrong with feast on our time. Now, after this man's acting career kind of fizzled out, he started making documentaries. One of those documentaries came at the request of a certain notorious person, and that person was El Chapo. Now, naturally, there's a lot of controversy surrounding that whole thing. One of those things being that old Sean showed up on his own, and that he wasn't attached to any kind of agency, even though shortly after the interview, El Chapo got busted. Never mind the fact that Sean Penn's girlfriend at the time came out and straight up said he used her to get to him. But anyway, that's for another video. Another big thing he's been involved with is Hades after the earthquakes in 2010. Now, not only did this man rush to Haiti in a humanitarian effort, but he also started multiple charities and even a camp where he had people like Oprah come and visit. Now, during the time Oprah spent in Haiti, one of the things she did was have dinner with the president. 
and Sean Penn himself had a pretty good relationship with him as well. So it's pretty safe to say that he established himself as a trusted person in the local government. Well, it's funny that back in 2021, the current president of that area was unalived. And one of the major people involved in that was Sean Penn's personal driver. All right, now let's talk about where he's at now. See, Sean's been spending a lot of time in making another documentary about another area. And just like Haiti, he's become uh, BFFs with the president. So much so that Z even said he was born for this moment. I mean, he even got the chance to interview Putin and let's just say they didn't exactly get along. All right, now I'm gonna end the video here, but we still gotta talk about Madonna, three letter agencies, and some other uh, secrets. So let me know if you're ready for some more. Stay safe. Oh my God, Specimen Z isn't Carter's body. What is it? Specimen Z is a cure for cancer. Carter didn't die, he cured himself. Hold it right there. <gasps> Carter, you found a cure for cancer? Well, I didn't come up with it. A couple of eggheads I hired did. One of them's a Chinese. Boy, I don't like those people. But holy crap, wind them up and watch them go. How long have you had this? I don't know. When, when was that Who Let the Dogs Out song? You've had this since 1999? I could have you arrested for breaking in here. Carter, you've discovered the holy grail of modern medicine. Why the hell would you keep it buried like this? Well, I'll tell you why. Because there's far more money to be made in treating a disease than in curing it. Why cure someone of cancer in a day if we can treat them for a lifetime and bill them every step along the way? What? That's insane! Carter, what you're doing here is criminal, and I'm gonna tell the whole world about it. Is that right? Who's gonna believe you? The internet? You'll be just another nutjob left-wing blogger. We're now learning that of the 62 people killed in the plane crash in Brazil, eight of them were cancer specialists that were on their way to an oncology conference. And just imagine this, but the regional medical council said there was actually 15 cancer doctors scheduled to be on board that two hour flight, but seven of them decided to take an earlier plane. As of right now, we have no idea what caused the crash as the crew did not call for help. Let's talk distraction. Now I'm sure at this point, most people have seen at least a little bit of the opening scenes at the Olympics this year. And even if you're not directly affected by it, it was a bit ridiculous. And that's when you gotta ask yourself why? Why make it about that? And why so over the top? But more importantly, what are they distracting us from? What else is more important that's going on at the same time? And why would they wanna distract you from that? Well, well, if you saw that article and found it pretty interesting, you can uh, start going down the rabbit hole. Then you start understanding exactly why they don't want you to see it. Things they really don't want you knowing. Because then you might just start to see things a little differently. But what do I know? Stay safe. And here we go. I see this guy's face pop up behind the space shuttle. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is a man's face moving around behind the space shuttle in outer space. Now I'm going to zoom in where you can get a better look. There you go. So he pops his head up, then he ducks back down, and then he raises up just again for a second. Now I'm going to put a thermal filter on so you can see that this is not any tricks done by myself. There you go, you see him rise up, back down, and he raises back up again. Okay, now let's zoom in using the thermal filter, and there you see him pop up. 
There's a picture of the there it goes down. Uh, and then it pops back up again. The, uh, you and then you can also see a little bit more movement going on behind the show. I'm not sure if that's his body or whatever he's moving around back there. But you can go to NASA's website and watch the original for yourself. They are lying to you people. It's time to wake up. There are two astronauts, two American astronauts, that are currently stuck in space. They were sent up to the International Space Station for a trip that was only supposed to last eight days. But they have now been up there for 65 days. It is day 65 of this eight-day mission, and there is no end in sight, even though the solution is literally right in front of them. But that would require Boeing and NASA to call in a favor from somebody that they don't particularly like. SpaceX may have to rescue stranded NASA astronauts after Boeing wonder. Like if I was up there and I heard that my return date could be pushed back to possibly February of the next year, I would be calling Elon myself. I would be tweeting so furiously from the International Space Station, please save me. But no, not allowed because Boeing really wants to save face. And you know what? Sort of from a PR perspective, I get it because they have not had the best of luck this year. Luck makes it sound like they're not at fault. They have done some bad things this year. So I understand that they want to, you know, complete this mission to bring them home. But if it's saving face or making your astronauts be up there for another seven months, I would say just call Elon and bring them home. Again, there they go. Hey, didn't I tell y'all don't come in our yard again? Y'all hard and don't make me come out there. Hey, man, what you doing, man? Open the gate. Open the gate. Oh, man, you almost got me kicked. Okay, I'll give you a friendly kiss, okay? A friendly... Oh, what the hell? I don't even like you like that, man. Ooh. Ooh, man. Hey, thanks for dropping me off, Chris. Good night. Man, they better still be up. Man, I know they not asleep. Somebody better come open the door. Oh, man, I appreciate that. Ooh. Duncan. What? Duncan. What? Duncan. What? <laughs> Duncan. What? Hey, what you doing? Oh, you slapped me, boy. <laughs> My bad. It's a fly flying around here somewhere. I was ready. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Ah! Can I have it? Hey, what? Oh, no, 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 Oh, is that the phone? Y'all want me to go get them? Uh, anybody want to cuddle or something? Y'all want to cuddle? Hey, uh, I'm about to lock the door, though. You don't need to lock the door. Man, when y'all gonna let me come in the house, man? Why y'all treat me like a dog, man? Oh, man, that movie was pretty good, but I think I'm finna go lay it down. I'll get with you tomorrow. Uh, what? From your butt produced that stanky contraption. Oh my god, that is so unladylike. Are you upset? No, is your stomach upset, man? I can't even go nowhere. It's in house. Bro, 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 stop, stop, bro. You don't want these paws, bro. Bro, you don't want these paws, bro. <laughs> well, that's it for today, folks. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment with suggestions of what you would like and videos you would like to see. Until next time, fam.